is Benicia Paul Watson? Benicia Paul Watson was born in Los Angeles, California to an immigrant mother and a father from Detroit, Michigan who migrated to LA. I was born in South Central LA. I am the only child for my mother. I lost my sister when she was 10 years old, so I became an only child at the age of 15. Growing up, I was very enthusiastic about life. I was always smart. I was the person that would read the most books in the class, I'd always raise my hand. So I was just a creative person and very intellectual and intellectually stimulated. By the time I got to high school, I actually graduated early um, at the age of 17. And then I went on to college. While in college, I met a professor and that professor asked me, hey, what do you wanna do in life? And I'm like, oh, I wanna work for the IRS. So he wrote down on a sticky pad, a number and a name. And he said, call that number in four years. So. As I'm leaving the classroom from seeing my professor, I'm like, okay, uh, what do I do for four years? And I had a friend who was joining the army. So I chose not to go to the army. I settled on the Air Force. So when I got to the Air Force, I had a great career. I did a total of nine years, came out of the Air Force and decided to get on a journey of becoming so many things in life, including working for corporate America. So corporate America took me all over the United States. I ended up living in about four or five different states across the United States in a very short period of time. And that journey took me to Dallas, Texas. When I got to Dallas, Texas with this corporate job, I was here for about a year, 18 months, and typically I would move. And at this point I wasn't moving. I wasn't getting selected for a transfer as I normally do. So instead of being discouraged, I just kind of prayed and asked God, hey God, is there something that you want me to do here in Dallas? Because this is not the normal routine that we've been on for the last umpteen years of this journey of uh, working for this job. And started praying and asking God, just for strength first, and secondly, to just instill in me what you really want me to do. Am I chasing the goals of someone else or am I chasing my own desires? I'm educated, I have two master's degree and a law degree. I wasn't sure if God was trying to take me on a journey to incorporate that. Did he want me to do a PhD? I didn't know. So I just started praying and asking God to just show me, show me, show me something, show me something, show me where you want me to go. And after eight months of praying, God spoke to me. He said, get a real estate license. So. I opened my laptop after praying and meditating. I got my license. I passed my test on the first try. And the first year in the business, I sold over 200 houses in real estate while working that full-time job. Now, back in my history, which I didn't talk about, is that I started investing in real estate when I was 19 years old. And I had no idea that where I was then would connect the dots to where I am in 2015 when I got the license up until where I am today in 2022. So essentially after that first year of selling 200 houses, I sold over 350 my second year. And boy, did my social media grow. People started messaging me and asking me, what are you doing? How are you doing this? You're living in Dallas. It appears that you're not from here. How are you doing this? So I just started mentoring agents and anyone who would reach out to me, whether it was a customer, a, a person that I met, that became friendly with me or a real estate agent or broker. I would just answer the questions. And pretty soon my social media started to grow. My platform started to grow. More people started migrating towards me. About two and a half years into having a real estate license, I was reached out to by Black Enterprise. So Black Enterprise selected me as top entrepreneur of the United States. I was selected to go to a conference. When I got to that conference, I'm in a space where there's no other real estate and a grander space where I was able to network with people and touch other people that were not in my field. Once I got established through Black Enterprise and connected, I ended up starting a company and growing that team from 10 agents to now 200 agents across the United States. How I did that, <laughs> I'll tell you more. But the long story short is that's who I am. I ended up starting this company and growing this company and scaling it to a place bigger than what I thought. And moving forward, during coronavirus, I started speaking at different engagements. And while speaking at these engagements, I ran across someone who said, would you like the opportunity to own your own bank? And because I had the financial stability and the criteria that checked all the boxes, I was able to be vetted. And now I'm the owner of my own federally chartered institution. It is a a bank. I'm a black person, so it's a black owned bank. It's based in Dallas, Texas, but I serve every state except New York. The bank is a mortgage company, 
So it caters to commercial and residential real estate transactions, which goes in line with owning a real estate company. In addition to owning the bank, I'm also a real estate developer. Selling so many houses, it puts you in a position where, yeah, you can buy whatever you want. I can take care of my family. I bought my dad a truck, you know, paid off my mother's house, did everything that people wanted them to do, sent a couple of kids to college. And at this point, when you make a lot of money, really, it's about giving back. It's not about what you can put in your pocket anymore. So I ended up saying to myself, you know what? What am I gonna do here on this earth that I can do now today that's gonna outlive me? And that's basically buying land and building on it. So I bought 20 lots across Dallas and built homes and sold it. So I put a million dollars cash into building those houses and 10X my money. So I was able to build up a platform financially that's gonna create generational wealth for not just my family, but my kids, 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 kids. So that's me in a nutshell. I'm Venetia Watson and follow me on social media. My website is www.venetiapoolwatson.com. You can also follow me on YouTube, Venetia Poole Watson, Instagram, at Benicia underscore underscore. See you soon.